My name is Terry Orr, and I'm the executive director of the Park City Institute, and it is my great pleasure to introduce Anne McCoy, the dreamer and the founder of the Park City Institute. Anne? Hey, thanks, Terry. We wouldn't be calling this the Eccles Center unless the Eccles family had believed that this was something that Park City needed. And I want to welcome to the stage the president and CEO of the board of the George S. and Dolores Story Eccles Foundation. Please help me welcome Spence Eccles. And it was a privilege for our foundation, yes, back in 96, to be able to step up with more than a million dollars in needed funding so that the center could be constructed as originally envisioned. And that meant our commitment to fund the nearly 300-seat balcony that at one point, due to financial challenges, appeared to be on the chopping block. But that would have left this... Thank you. That's right. That, that would have left this center too small to even seat a normal high school assembly, I'm told. What a disastrous mistake it would have been to sacrifice that fantastic seating which has now welcomed scores of students and appreciative audiences for thousands of performances, from innovative dance, theater, and vocalists to stellar guest speakers, and more through the years, including, including the Sundance Film Festival screenings and its famous Park City opening nights. As it was, this uh, Eccles Center was completed just barely in time for the Sundance Film Festival opening night in 98. And yep, it's been the vital venue home, you might say, for the festival's opening night ever, every year since, just like it will be again this coming Thursday. My first job programming for Sundance started in 1994. And at that time, Sundance, uh, it was on the map, but it was still you know, sort of an emerging festival. And then over the next four years, from 94 to 98, it started to grow and grow in popularity. And the demand for tickets and for, for, for the space in the theater was so great that as they, they referenced, like, we were, we were shaking, we were about ready to implode, um, and we were looking at, at places to move to. Um, but then something glorious happened. Uh, this theater was built and we got to use it, and it really launched us into another stratosphere where we went from kind of a, an emerging regional festival to an A-list festival right alongside the Cannes Film Festival, the Venice Film Festival, and the Berlin Film Festival, all who have these amazing movie palaces that we never had until this theater. This is an amazing place. We have a community that believes in the arts, that supports the arts, and most importantly, supports our students. Over the past 20 years, this institution has challenged us. They provide a diversity of programs, sometimes edgy, sometimes a bit controversial, but hey, like the rest of the community, that's Park City. Cicero said, without vision, of people perish. But I think without art, people don't flourish. This theater has meant a lot to this community. It's meant a lot to the state, and certainly Sundance. I promoted the state for almost 30 years and was often asked around the world, well, how, what was that like? I said it was easy. Look around you in the room tonight. This community is what made it easy. This state was easy to sell. Thank you for the honor of serving in so many respects with the Park City community. I applaud all of you in the room who give so much to this community. To be sure, cultural organizations like the Park City Institute definitely bring us delightful and decorative programming and experiences, but they're also the base ingredients, the eggs, the flour, the sugar, that bind our community together and offer us a healthy, viable, economically um, forward-thinking community. Clearly, the arts matter more than ever, and I am proud to be able to live in a place that values these ideas and to get to work every day to embed them deeper into our recipe for success. And even though it all went wrong, I'll stand before the Lord of soul with my
So happy anniversary to this amazing venue. And congratulations to all of you for maintaining such a beautiful, a beautiful art center. And um, just like last time, I feel completely out of breath and really dizzy. <laughs> and it's almost exactly like falling in love. Si algún amor me escondes, tú siempre me respondes. Quizás, quizás, quizás. Y así pasan los días y yo desesperado y tú, tú contestando quizás, quizás, quizás. 